Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about an exciting new release that we have for Matricon Data Broker. In Matricon Data Broker 2, we'll be building on the last release that we had, which included powerful features like reverse connecting, federation, scalability across the enterprise. But now we're moving to our next stage, and to tell us about it is Jason. Jason, what's new in this new release? Thanks, Derek. We're really excited to introduce a couple of really cool new features. We have dynamic data modeling, which puts the power of data modeling into the user's hands. We have data mapping, which allows users to map data sources to data sources. And then on top of that, we have MQTT publishing to the cloud. So all features that we're extremely excited to introduce. Fantastic, thanks. So all of those are coming together, shaping our overall vision for making Matricon Data Broker a key component when you're building the unified OT data layer, which is basically an idea of providing one single access point across the enterprise for all your OT data. That makes it sustainable, it makes it secure, it makes it scalable, everything in a single package that you can use for a spot solution or going across the enterprise. Some further good news, based on the capabilities that we've introduced, plus building on what was in the last uh, version, we've also now partnered with Microsoft and Intel. So Matricon is now part of the, the Intelligent Edge, which is basically a grouping of products that are ready for production environments to help people actually communicate from across the enterprise up into the cloud. So I will be telling you a lot more about the different features, but that's that's what we've got coming. That's what we've got out right now. <laughs> so till next time, see you from Matricon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.